Welcome back, YouTubers. Stateless here. And we're cruising on the sidecar. A little bit of heavy traffic right now. It's getting towards the end of the day on Friday. Got this thing tuned up. New transmission. It's running good. Had to go to the park earlier and make a few adjustments to, to, to get it to get shift just right. It was popping in and out of a few gears. Quite a quirky little bike, actually. You really got to be a hands-on type of person if you want to own one of these. Yeah, we're going to get some fuel for it. I noticed earlier when we were kind of checking it out that the I got a car wash guy downstairs that does the detailing for me, and for about 30 U.S. dollars, he'll polish this entire thing up. It's a pretty good deal. Looks like new every time he's done with it. Better than new. Yeah, it's running in second gear pretty good. The second gear was one of my gears of, of, of trouble earlier. Clutch is working good too. I don't think I left my blinker on there for a minute. Uh, that's one thing about sidecars, you got to be careful about right-hand turns. <laughs> a little too fast and uh, that thing comes off the ground. I always get some good looks here at the petrol station. There's some 98 over here. Let's put some good shit in this thing. Oh. oh, there we go. It's not wanting to go into first real good, but I got it. I guess I'll wait for one of these people. You can't fill your own fuel. Well, if you got a gas card, you can fill your own fuel, but typically you got to wait for somebody to do it. So, but yeah, we got some 98 we're going to put in and top her off. It sounded a little rough trying to get it in first gear there. Hopefully that gets a little better. It was downshifting pretty good earlier, but I don't know. I kind of missed shifting it down as I was coming in. You kind of have to... It's strange how these things shift, so you kind of have to be one step ahead of yourself when you're driving this. Some of it could just be clutch grabbing too, causing the gears. We got our fuel. You never want to really quite fill these things all the way to the top, but let's go for a ride. All right, nobody coming. Go, go, go. Yeah, nice smooth shift into second. Third gear, all right. Haven't had that in a while. Fourth gear. Yeah, I've got a high end or high gear rear end on this thing. Kind of makes it a little bit nicer for driving around. 
All right, back to second gear. That was good. Yeah, she's running good today. That was a bit close there, buddy. Not the fastest thing in the world, but she'll go when she wants to. Definitely a cruiser. Yeah, she'll be somewhere between 70 and 80 on the highway. Got it down to first gear. Amazing. Yeah, one thing that bothers me a little bit is I think it needs some maybe slightly stronger clutch springs would help. I mean, it's a different clutch, but it uses the same original springs. They don't give you any new springs with it. And I've got to figure out a way to maybe stiffen the springs, either put some little discs in there to uh, short, you know, shorten the space on the springs. Make it a little tighter than what it is. Sure, certainly is running good today, though. This is nice. It's nice once you get one of these things fixed. Yeah, we'll go up the highway for a minute. Yeah, we got it in first. Yeah, I'm still, still wanting to grab on the clutch a little bit. Yeah, tighten the idle screws a little, see what happens. Straight into second. Man, that's the best transmission I've had yet. Never had it working so good. Wow, what's going on up here? They're doing some work up here now, too, apparently. There we go, we got it idling a little better. Like I said, it's small adjustments here and there. I think they said the clutch cable need to be adjusted some and your work never ends with one of these. I went into first gear, no problem. Alright, come on. Fucking went ahead of your sorry ass. That's a nice hole in the road. Wow, we may sneak back on the uh may take another route coming back. I don't know, it's back not backed up too bad. Probably gonna get worse. Cruising with the boys, man. Ooh, highway riding. He was definitely checking out the bike.
Yeah, the speedometer's not correct because of the uh, the high geared rear end. The speedometer cable cable comes right off the transmission, and it's set up for that. And what the output shaft actually turns, but you got a higher gear in the rear, so the speed is a little bit higher than what I'm going right now. Definitely cruising, man. The nice thing about a sidecar too is you don't have to balance. You just kind of drive it like a car. But it is it is a bit awkward. Definitely a fun little ride on the highway, man. You got everybody looking at you. He's doing some weaving. Oh, a bug just hit my window. Windscreen. My visor. Yeah, there's a lot of bikes. Yeah, it's typically the bike lane over there, but the sidecar, you're kind of wide, you're kind of like a car, you're a little faster, you got some, you got a lot of horsepower here. You know, most, most of these Chinese bikes are 7 to 10 horsepower. This thing's supposedly a 32 with the overhead valve, but it's got electronic ignition, a little bit nicer carbs, nice exhaust, better pistons, it's probably putting out closer to 40. But who knows, there's no telling with this thing. Well, we missed that U-turn. I was gonna try to hit that one. The car had to freaking creep up in here. What the fuck are you doing, dude? Dive back over into this lane. Definitely a warm machine. This thing gets a bit hot riding it. There's somebody on an electric. Riding home, I suppose. Yeah, this thing's only 650cc. Like I said, it's, it does what it does. A bit of ancient technology here. Basically a copy of a World War II German BMW sidecar. Well, that's not a U-turn. We got a green light. Let them all go. Slow this thing down. 
start heading back towards the house. And this road actually has a speed limit on it because it's a highway. You see that right there, it's 80. Oh shit, I hit that fucking rock. Oh, I was looking at the sign, hope we're all right. That was a good little bump there. But yeah, it's 80 kilometers on this road. Which is about 50 miles an hour, give or take. make this light the car coming up behind me oh god really slow trishaw and everybody's weaving around him oh it's one of the tractors that's a piece of farm equipment that they use here in China. It's kind of weird. It has like a motor on the front. And then it like tows a cab like a trailer. So you just kind of steer around an engine. It's, they're rather odd. Definitely smells a little bit farmy out here. Now we have the river over on the left. This road just kind of follows the river. Oh, there's the, there's a traffic light here. Green means go. Watch for cars coming in on this road right here. Yeah, we definitely left them all in the dust. Coming along. Moto vlog on a sidecar. In China. Oh, here's one pulling out. And there's some dust kicking up. Ah! Stings me. I'm getting sandblasted. pulling out there getting into some congestion here bike's running great though damn I don't think it's ever ran so good it's got to be something to do with that red line oil I put in the transmission I've got something to put in the engine and actually in the rear end as well and I'll get around to it I just didn't feel like doing it today that will really sing once I put that stuff in here. There's no telling what kind of cheap oil they put in this thing when I got it. Yeah, I got this. I had to order this from a guy in Beijing builds them. And uh, it's kind of been a little bit of a battle with the guy. This guy's uh, shop is uh, goes by Sidecar Leo. And he builds a beautiful bike. I just think mechanically wise, I think they could do a little bit better. But hey, it's China. There's a guy going the wrong way down the fucking road. <laughs> Definitely a pretty visible bike. I mean, everybody sees you when you go by, so. 
And I chose the, the martini theme for this bike. When I was a little kid growing up, my dad had a uh, martini edition 924 Porsche. I always liked riding around in that little car. I think it's probably one of the most beautiful paint jobs you can put on anything. Yeah, we're slowing up here. Yeah, I didn't like second, back to third. Still kind of poking along. Now we're getting into that bad traffic up here. Hopefully we don't overheat. And a car's coming to my lane. Oh, great. There's a fucking truck on the left. Must have broke down. Just everything sitting. Yeah, there's a white car broke down there too. I can't get through there. Oh, thing about about a side car is you can't really lane split. And if that white car wasn't broke down there, I'd be able to get through. So, I mean, we're moving now. You can definitely smell it getting a little hot. Oh, I love what this guy's doing. Ah, we could have gone for that, but let's just do this. Keep this thing running. They don't like to sit. You can overheat these things pretty easy from what I've read. Nice little Friday afternoon ride. All that early morning work was worth it. It's fun how uh, work can pay off sometimes. Trouble free too, so far at least. Knock on wood. Come up here and do a U-turn. Head back the way we came. Everybody's trying to do a U-turn. They used to have a traffic circle back behind me, and I don't know why they got rid of it. I think a big reason is they just had so many accidents because they don't teach them how to properly use a freaking roundabout. Now look at these guys. They're they're doing a U-turn from the third lane over. I love it. Oh man, what a bunch of shit. Oh, what a na that's that's bad, guys. Come on, man. See, this is why they should have kept the fucking traffic circle. Stupid. Well, we'll go around. Uh, we turn a little tighter than everybody else. <laughs> yeah, she's shifting good. I had to make some adjustments, but man, this is it's riding nice. No popping in and out of gears. Engine's running good. That was that was fourth gear there. I jumped one there. Right when I say something. Yeah, they all go to go that way. Was, I love it. Yeah, there used to be a really nice traffic circle here and they took it out. I think they need to develop what we have in the States and it's called a clover leaf. An on ramp.
They seem to like U-turns. They seem to think U-turns is the way to go. I don't even fucking get it, man. Ah, oh, this guy's super slow. Oh, here comes a bunch of traffic. Oh, this is gonna be fun getting over. I gotta get over two lanes to get back. Wow, that was real fucking nice of you there, dude. What a dickhead. Well, oh, I gotta get over anyway. Yep, give him the finger, that works. Fucking asshole. He clearly saw me and did that shit on purpose. Fucking dip. Dick hole. Well, I think we're about to shut off. We'll head over to the park for a minute. We want to stall. What?